some displaced Iraqis find it easier to shape stubborn metal than to think about the future. Tom Jabeli is a blacksmith who was forced from his home in the Hamdaniya district when ISIL took over. He's trying to build a life at a refugee camp for displaced Christians in Erbil. I don't think we have a future anymore. Unfortunately, it's looking gloomy and sad. Is this our future? Do you consider this a bright future for us? He says he's suffocating together with his wife in a small room in the camp. But returning to their town isn't an option, even when ISIL are driven out. Those who have enough money can return to their towns. I won't go back because there's nothing left for us back there. Out of an estimated 200,000 Christians from Mosul and the Nineveh Plains, 175,000 are believed to be living in camps like these. In addition to a lack of opportunities, many Iraqi Christians are afraid to return. They feel abandoned by their neighbors and communities, which they say did little to help them against ISIL. Those who did return have formed a Christian group called the Nineveh Plain Protection Units, backed by the Kurdish Peshmerga. But like all else in Iraq, the Christian groups are also divided. The Shia militias or popular mobilization forces support a rival Christian group called the Babylon Units. This is our land. We can't leave our Christian lands. If we leave, where else can we go? But returning home is tough. In addition to ISIL vandalism, the fight to force out fighters has caused widespread destruction. We left our house and rented, but we couldn't afford it and had to return to our house. For now, they're disposing of all reminders of ISIL's presence in their homes. From clothing to mattresses, everything which ISIL fighters used must be burned. It's a cleaning ritual for a new beginning for Iraq's Christians who've returned home. Osama bin Javed, Al Jazeera, Erbil, Northern Iraq.